I just want to start by saying I heart all of you all right now. Um, always the first time when you teach a class, and notice I said teach a class, I didn't say teach an online class. Um, you, as you're designing things, you're like, will this work? Um, and uh, what you'll find is, especially when you teach a class, that a lot of it has been designed by somebody else, and which will be the case um, for the, at least the first time you teach online with the writing program, um, that's even a little bit more exacerbated. Now, what's interesting about this particular class is um, what was designed by other folks is primarily what I would argue is content delivery um, mechanisms. So most of it's just kind of the content, which is nice. I mean, it's nice to not have to do that. Um, hopefully, once you start looking at the um, uh, sample uh, online classes for the program, you'll you'll see um, what I mean in distinguishing content delivery. Um, uh, yeah, these the sample programs. But um, uh, what so what I'm adding in here is kind of the interactive element, or I'd actually even argue the learning element. I mean, because what I love is you all just proved um, that you skim stuff that you think you already know. And I mean, I'm not suggesting that you don't know all these policies already and part of it, but, but you know, remember, you're t you know, in most cases you're teaching 100 level classes and even if you're teaching 300 level classes, we have transfer students. So, you know, you can never assume that you don't have a new student to UA in your classes or a student who's only used D2, this is their first time using D2L. Um, so, ooh, I'm going to stop on that rant and just start by saying thank you. And so this is why I started. Thank you. Um, this particular discussion, starting the online course, you all collectively said every single thing I was thinking about as I was designing it and all the various things and more of um, what I kind of wanted you to grok. So, uh, including, um, you know, the fact that I did not design uh, an introductions space. Um, I just dumped you into the things, into the boring things and the things that people don't read and that they still are important and, and I, you all just hit it beautifully. So, um, now I'm going to take a moment uh, to get you to, um, let's put it this way, a little bit you know, mind, man behind the green curtain moment. Um, yes, Wizard of, Wizard of Oz reference for those of you who didn't get it. Um, okay, so uh, realize a lot of these discussion topics are designed in such a way, um, or at least the ones in the pre-designed courses for writing, they're designed in such a way that they should emulate um, group discussion in class. And just one thing I want you to remember is you don't listen to all the group discussion. You can't. And so potentially the same thing is that uh, trying to design these activities in such a way that you as the instructor do not have to read every single one or if you read it you're skimming it or you don't have to I mean you can't possibly be sitting down at every single group during the group discussion so kind of remind yourself of that um, however in this instance and because this is a small class this because